Not cutting flat leaf parsley. You're cutting cilantro. No, I'm not. Are you sure? I am. Where's the parsley? <laughs> cool thing is, we jumped down these stairs, um, is this happened. <laughs> yes. No, we don't have a leak. Um, the tarp is there because we have a new door. See the new door? It's pretty slick. We got the door in, and then it started raining the next day when we decided to paint it, or when we could paint it, because it came in on a Friday. So, the tarp's here because the paint's trying to dry because it's raining, sort of sprinkly, the paint's not drying very fast. <laughs> it's kind of annoying mom and I, but check out the door. So the door is pretty slick. They put in, you know, that's the molding. And you guys, I'll show you some more footage of the install process. So this is the guy installing it. He had to do a lot of crazy um, precautions for lead paint because the door itself, not the building, had lead paint so you can see this insanity but this is him put in the door and how he installed it it just took a couple of videos real quick so you can see the crazy process um so yeah and and he he did a good job i mean it took him a little while um it took him like two and a half hours three hours so but it was pretty good I, I, I was pretty pleased with it, but it was just a little weird, the whole process of it. But then, so this is the new door, right? So this is the new. Got some nice molding going on. And we, you don't see it's still wet. This is only the first coat. That's why it's all streaky, because it's a white door, as you saw him install. And we're painting it black to match the front door. But it is slick, man. It is still a little tacky, because, again, the rain. But it is a good, solid solid door and it's quite awesome um, such a difference between this and the old door that's pretty sweet sweet we got molding for the first time ever in the room which is pretty awesome yeah but that's the new door pretty cool huh it's super warm in here finally it's super warm in here um, and, and it's pretty cool. So now the, the room is extra warm, which is useful. Um, but uh, that was our big event for this weekend, other than we wanted to finish painting the door, which ain't gonna happen. But, um, so Morgan and Mom are going, they've been at the store. Um, they're, uh, Morgan has a weird cooking class. I don't even understand high school curriculum now. They have to take a cooking class or whatever. Um, so they're at the store getting parts and pieces for Morgan to make a pot pie for me with a cobbler dessert, which is, I guess is part of her assignment. So they're getting those pieces together and I have to go eat it. So that will be exciting. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the end. Um, but until then, I'm going to hide out in my garage. What you doing? I'm making the crust. After you get it all nice and crumbly, which it's halfway there, it needs to go a lot further, um, and scrape those sides down a little bit on your cutter. Um, yeah, those sides. Then, once it's all nice and crumbly, we will add some cold, cold water, and then it will all adhere to each other and make a dough that you can roll out. So we have the salt and the flour and, well, the fats, the Crisco and butter. And now we are just slowly, I'm helping, pour the water in, pour the water in until it just comes together. See how when you pounded it, pushed it together, it started to come together in a big glob? Yeah, That's so do you want me to keep kneading it? That, you don't want to knead it, you just want to try to get it together in a glob. Okay. See if it'll come together in a glob. If it doesn't, then we need just a tiny bit more water. Okay. There's still like chunks of butter and stuff in here. Yes, you want the chunks of butter in there. Okay. It's coming together. Okay. 
two equal sized blobs, one for each the bottom crust and the top crust. The actual top blob doesn't have to be quite as big as the bottom blob. Okay. Okay. I could be on a cooking show because I call them blobs. Well, at least it's relatable. Ah! Ew, my face is ugly. Don't zoom in that close. <laughs> okay. So flip it and try to press it out into the biggest circle you can. You can. Well, it sucks, so how do I do that? No, you're doing good. You start from the middle and you work yourself out. And then, as soon as you get it pretty flat, we'll smother it in flour again, and then we'll roll it. Okay. But it sucks. <sighs> Stop using that word. <laughs> Number one. Right. Yeah, it's not coming together at all. You start from the inside out. Right? What do I do about this garbage on the Here. side? Roll it back in and tuck it in. Right, like that. Mm -hmm. Just keep rolling. Your big worry is to get it smooth and flat. And yep, you do a lot of angles. So you're not, you know, making an oval, you're making a circle. Try to fold it in half as gently as you can. Like that? Mm hmm. And then fold it into quarters. Quarters, sorry. And now bring your plate close to it. It's already cracked at the bottom. And then put it in like you would pe put a piece of pie and unfold it. Don't worry about the cracks. Well, I can't find the edge because of the cracks. Okay. Now you're going to center it and press it. Okay. So now it's pressed in. And you're going to put that one in the refrigerator to cool while you do the other one. Okay. Oh my god, there's another one. We're on to number two. And flip it. Hmm? Flip it and get flour all over it. Oh, wait. There you go. <laughs> nice. That's a way. Oh no, I just screwed that up even worse than I already did. This, this sucks. I can't do this. <laughs> I've ruined it. Go from your, you did it. Go from Here's your it. shoulders. What do you mean, go from your shoulders? The power should be coming from your shoulders what as you, you press mean? in. I don't even know what that means. Okay, watch me. You want to press in. No, it doesn't work. You're going to get yourself some plastic wrap for this one. You're going to fold it up into quarters like you oh, did last time. but it's going to rip. And you're going to put it in the plastic wrap and put that in the refrigerator. Put it in the plastic wrap, wrap it up so it doesn't get dry. I feel like this is going to break it. Pop it into Yeah, it's cracking at the bottom. Oh, why is it, Why is this a good idea? Do That's people it. seriously do this? No, it's okay. Yeah, of course, they don't wrap it up so tight you could never get it back open again. Well, I'll be able to. Okay. How's the chopping coming? Good. I'm really good at chopping, so you know, no problems here. Yeah, that. It's fine. Okay. And then all gets done together? Mm-hmm. With chicken? Yeah. Chicken's in an bowl. Mm -hmm. It has to not cross-contaminate first. Of course we shouldn't cross-contaminate. Of course. That. It's terrible. It's in. Okay. So, this goes in, and then this goes in. And then you have to stir it, and then... What's that? No. Okay. Just saute it. Yeah. We chopped up the vegetables, put them in that pan for like eight minutes, and then we, um... <coughs> Put the, ew. We put the cream and the chicken broth and the flour in there, and it thickened up pretty quickly. And Let then you're adding the peas and the parsley right now. Ooh. Why are you cutting each individual leaf off with a giant butcher knife? Oh, I don't know. Okay, because that seems... It is dumb, I know, but... Absolutely. Absolutely. 
And you're also not cutting flat leaf parsley. You're cutting cilantro. No, I'm not. Are you sure? I am. Where's the parsley? <laughs> so, what up now, girl? You pour the stuff into the crust at the pie, like that. You got one done on your own. It looks ugly. It does not. It's a beautiful little teardrop, raindrop. I feel like we should put another one here, but that would just make it worse, so. Yeah, no. Hello. Go on, pot pie. It's not done. How long does this thing take? Oh my god. Now it has to cook and, and she has to make the to rest make of dinner. Else. The longest pot pie I've ever waited for. It's her first time making it. I don't see you making a pot pie. You, I You're just pointing to your belly. Calm down. Oh my god. Jeez, get a granola bar or something. If you're that hungry. There's there's fresh made hummus in the fridge. Sweet. So now we put cream on it and stuff to make it goldeny. Yes. Now you just yep do that all over the top and it will make it goldeny. Okay. Make sure you get the edge edges too. Like that? Like, hummus? Yes, that's the hummus. hummus. That's the hummus. Swedish bread and hummus. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up! I am! Make your own pot pie if you're you so know, hungry. You big promiser, you're like, ah, I'll make a big pot pie. Like, well, make yeah. I literally started at four o'clock. This is a long process. Anyway, so now you're gonna put cream on your pie like this, and then after you cut the holes on, and just like put it in the oven. Just like put it in the oven. Just like, not just like. Just, and then you put it in the oven. Well, whatever. It's not so. like you put it in the oven. You do put it in the oven. Don't pretend to put it in the oven. Really put it in the oven. At 425 degrees for how long? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. I, I don't think know it said 30 to 35 minutes. You don't need, need the cream that thick. Fine. Okay, there you go. All right. Is that good enough? That's good enough. All right, we'll put it in the that oven looks shortly. Weird. <laughs> Pot pie is done. So we've got Brussels sprouts in there and, and the mushrooms. mushrooms. Ooh! And here comes pretty! The pretty, pretty, pretty oh, pot Oh, that pie. stupid leaf is pretty. <laughs> what it's stupid? Like, oh, the one that's yeah. not perfect? It's oh. fine. I bet you it still tastes yummy. I bet I eat it up. Nom Very nom golden. noms. Look. Look. No. I want to post this on my Instagram just because I spent a lot of time on this. You did spend a lot of time and on I that. I feel like I wasted a ton of time, but that's okay. <laughs> that look good. Oh, don't, don't touch it with your, your dirty hands. hands. Take the off of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you wash those hands? Yeah. I don't want to paint. paint and germs. I don't want those. Go wash those hands. It does look mighty tasty. Yeah. What's Wait. that? Wait, what's that? What's oh, that? that's your cobbler for it dessert. It's like an iceberg. Well, it's supposed to like, like sink in and then is, bubble over. The so Arctic is on fire. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, the Brussels sprouts look pretty tasty too. Yeah, and then I left the mushrooms in for a bit too long because I wasn't paying attention, so they spilled over, but they still taste the same. I just have to put the they stuff back fine. on top. That's not a big deal. Yeah. All right, so uh, you're gonna cut this open for me? Yeah, um, mom. What are you doing? I'm not sure if I'll do this right, so. You just cut it. Well, like, it could be they're doing it the wrong way. Cut it like a pie. But it's. All right, take it all the way down, keep going. I don't know yeah. how to cut it. And then pull back up so you get the edge of the crust. Ooh, there you okay, go. I got that. See that? Yeah, kind of. Easy weezy. How big a piece do you want? I don't know. Like, right, right there? there? I thought that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you'll be getting no raw chicken. Just letting you know. I feel uncomfortable. Ooh, okay. Yeah. No, I don't know how you get it out of there because I always suck at that. Where's your uh, oven mitt to hold onto the pot pie? Well, you I should don't be holding onto the plate. You were doing this wrong. It Danger! Danger! Ooh, okay. See? That's... Oh, oh. 
Oh, my. Oh. Okay. Right. This is going to be mine. I'm just saying, you're doing it wrong. Do it. Take it over. Do you want these little bits and stuff? Yes, of course I do. Okay. Mm. There. That looks mighty tasty. It does, doesn't it? Now I will eat said food and hopefully not die instantly from food diseases. We learned gonna... about food diseases and culinary. Diseases. I'm gonna die from food diseases. What? No, we oh. learned about how to cook things right. So you would eat, you would probably not get any diseases from this because we made sure to take all the precautions. Probably not. I don't like those odds, Mom. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm into probably not odds. Well, it would depend if we had any diseases while we were washing them or whatever. So. We washed our hands though, so we're fine. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> that's so tasty, you have to try it, oh. so I can see. Get off! This is mine. <laughs> I'm working in here with her. <laughs> it's so good. No, it's mine. Give me a fork, woman. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? It's actually pretty good. I told you.